Hey guys, and guess what? I finally got it. This is the Bravo Tri-Stick. And as you guys probably know, I participated in the uh, Bravo Juggling Contest for a long time. Uh, if you haven't seen the videos that I've uploaded for that contest, be sure to click over here. Um, there'll be some great tricks are in that, stuff that I haven't been able to explain yet. I hope it can really inspire you. But anyway, what would be a better way to uh, get it started than showing you five easy tricks that I can get you started with? Keep in mind, I just got this. So, five tricks that can get you started with the Bravo dress stick. Okay, as always guys, let's start out easy. Why don't we uh, learn how to idle? So, there's a bunch of idles you can do with it. I'm gonna show you two. Number one, the click clack idle. Um, it's very similar to the click clack idle seen in the straight double sticks. All you're going to do is you're going to take your bow tri stick and you're going to take uh, one up and two on the side. So, right how I'm holding it, and you're going to let it bounce back and forth. Your right hand is going to go and it's going to hit the two that are over here. Your left hand is going to go and alternately hit the two that are over on this side. What it looks like when it's in motion, exactly like that. Going back and forth between it. Not very much rotation, really. 120 degrees, maybe. Um, that's really that's all to it. All you have to do is make sure that you're going precisely side to side, and you're not going a little bit forward, and the one a little bit back, because then you're going to get all, all mixed up. And yeah, yeah. Okay, the second idol is the TikTok idol. So exactly as you probably would have thought about it with the uh, normal devil sticks or normal flower sticks. You're going to take it. And you're going to have one up in the center. And you're only going to use that one to keep it idle. So go back and forth just like you did with the normal tip top. Look. It would look like this. Okay? Now what you have to be careful with is a problem I have a lot. As you can see, I'm rotating it. The blue and the red at the bottom are going back and forth and spinning. They really shouldn't. And that's where I'm having trouble. What I figured out that you have to do is similar to the click clack, which I'm doing here. You're going to want to just keep it precisely going back and forth. Now, this is, uh, keeping it up when it's spinning is, is really difficult, so I wouldn't really suggest this idle. It can spin, you can keep it up as you can see, but really, it shouldn't, and I'm back. Okay, let's finally get into some tricks. Why don't we do some flips? Just as you think, you're going to take it from the left hand stick, go, flip, try stick around, hey, and catch it right there, and flip it around and catch it right there, just like that. Let's see what it looks like when it's moving. Clack idle. And then I'm going to go yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow, red. See how the blue, I'm not even using. It just kind of goes along with it. You're only hitting the yellow and the red. You're letting the rotation only with those. Clipping it towards the right, flips towards the left, the left flips towards the right. Just like you would with your normal flipping idols. So that, I actually have a lot of fun with this one. My tip for this one as well is keep it so you're only flowing to the right and going to the left. Think about it in two dimensions. Because the Bravo Tri Stick, when you when you mess up and you go, allowed to go forward and backwards, you go all over the place. Now, if you can save it, it looks amazing. If you can't, it's so frustrating. So just go precisely left, precisely right, get close to the inside, it'll be easier. And it's really that's all to it. Number four, an airplane spin. Now, you guys know anything well. I kind of have the airplane spin on my flower sticks or on my devil sticks. It's so difficult. I'll actually tell you, if you get a tri-stick, it's a lot easier than on your normal devil stick. Because, right here, this little pivot that's put in the tri-stick, you can just get your hand stick right in there and do your rotation. It'll stay right in. All you gotta do, go into your idle, and take right or left, doesn't matter, whichever one you're more comfortable with. Grab it right there in the center. See, right there. Halfway through. Near the end, and you're gonna spin it with the other hand stick over that rotation. So, what it looks like when you're moving, a clock idle. And all I'm doing is little tiny circles, little tiny circles, with my right hand. Um, it's actually mostly up and down, and it just stays right in there. It's so much easier than uh, the normal airplane with a standard double stick or flower stick. How do you get out? You just stop it. Slow down your little circles, right back and get the clock up. Actually, it's, it's really easy in either hand. I'm not left-handed, but hey. And number five, a full flip. Not too much difficult. Just like you would with your normal uh, full flip, you just go and you rotate and catch. So 
slow it up a little bit and catch. So what am I doing? I'm taking it in my click clack on, just like that, stalling it so that the red and the blue are like this. See, close. And I'm letting the red that's underneath go up and the blue over here force down. That'll spin it. Let it spin in the air and then put my hand sticks right back where they were. Just look at how it looks like in motion. To the left, to the right. What makes it different than the click clack idle is you're using the whole tri stick. And it's really, I think it's easier in general than normal devil stick. So that's it. Those are my five easy tricks, beginning tricks for the Bravo tri stick. I'm just got this, so I've got to play around with them more, get a couple more tricks for you. And if you haven't gotten one of these yet, you really have to get one. They're finally selling them in the United States, so that was the only thing stopping me. I'll have a link in the description if you want to check them out. And until then, H&W Podcast, signing off. Oh yeah, and uh, Heather, you're probably going to kill me for this because I put it at the end. But thanks for buying them for my birthday. Finally, signing off.